Good morning. Welcome to yet another episode of the Dawn of Faith. Um, let us pray. Thank you, Lord, for this episode. As we are doing this devotion, may you guide us. May we speak that which you'd want us to speak. I pray this prayer to assembly in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So today I'd like to talk about reputation. So reputation, um, as is described in Matthew, there's the reputation of of um, Joseph. So Matthew describes Jesus' earthly father as a mere carpenter. He is a craftsman, he lives in Nazareth, and he is a single camel map dot on the edge of boredom. He is a simple man. Um, but also we are told that he is a Sadiq. A Sadiq is a student of the Torah. Rather, in today's world, we would see that as an elder or a deacon. So he's, you can imagine for someone so with such a simple life, having been a Sadiq, it must have been a very proud moment for him. It must have been such a, an honor, right? So Joseph being in this space, he, he, he's with Mary, a Mary who he loves and people know that they are together. But Mary gets pregnant and they are not married and he gets to choose. He gets to be in a position of choice. Um, his reputation or the law. Um, his, his love for Mary or the law. Um, um, by law I mean having to respect God's order to father this child, right? So he's in a predicament which we probably most of us find ourselves in. And you wonder, Joseph never said a word worthy to be in scripture. He was very, he never spoke a word. He, he was a doer. He was a man who sees the angel, a man who marries a pregnant girl, a man who leads his family to Bethlehem. He was a doer, but he never really says anything. So we wonder, does God really not, did God really not have better options? Uh, probably an eloquent priest from Jerusalem, but why Joseph? So, um, and, and this answer mostly lies in, in his reputation. He, he gives up his, you know, um, his reputation for Jesus. He gives it up for Jesus, and we see why, why Joseph. And so uh, God grants us, sometimes in life, God grants us an uncommon life to the degree we surrender our common, our common one. Um, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 25, it says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. If you try and keep your life to yourself, you lose it. But if you try and give your life for God, you will surely find life. So you can protect, you can either protect your reputation or protect or protect his reputation. Right? So if we find that Jesus is later in this um, situation where he has to choose. And Jesus also chose to to protect you know he chose god's reputation over his whereby he made himself um of no reputation taking the form of a born servant and coming into the likeness of men i mean jesus was god he had this big reputation and he would have chosen to preserve that reputation but he chose to give give himself up so that we can be saved, right? So he chose to, he made himself of no reputation. He took the form of a, a literal born servant. We saw that Jesus was the son. In, in Matthew, actually, in Matthew 13, in Matthew 13, 55, they describe, he describes Jesus as, is this not the capital son? Is not his mother called Mary? And his brethren James and Joseph and Simon and Judas. Um, this is uh, what God has been reduced to in 
you know, is he not the carpenter's son? Yet now we know that he had this big reputation. So it, we find ourselves in a situation where we have to choose whether to let go of our big names for this, our big names, our big reputation for the sake of Christ. That for the sake of divinity, we will be we will be humbled right we will be um a better people for the sake of god that we will choose to to do what is right even when it may it may not make us seem um popular we may not be popular in the eyes of men but you will do it because it is what you ought to do it is your duty to god even if it will reduce the amount of friends that you have or reduce your popularity, you will stand by the truth. You will not choose your own reputation over God's. You will choose to protect God's reputation over you. You know, um, he says, if you deny me before men, I will also deny you before my father. So will you choose today to preserve your own reputation over God's? Um, maybe we can... Um, borrow from the story of Joseph and Jesus and in the choices they made and make decisions as they did. We can imitate them and choose to protect God's reputation over our own. And if you do protect God's reputation, you're protecting your own because he loves us and he wants what is good for us. And you may not uh, find favor with the world, but would you choose the world or would you choose Jesus? You know, um, give me Jesus and, and not the world. That, that is my choice today. So you get to make yours. And that is the beauty of it. It's a choice. You get to make your choice. Um, I really do hope that this has made an impact or it has taught, reminded you of something that you already know. You knew that you had a choice to make. Of, of As you go out today, you know that whose reputation are you going to choose? Are you going to choose to to be right, to be kind and protect God's reputation? Or are you going to choose to protect your own reputation and seem um, gay to gain popularity in the world but lose heaven? I hope you get to make the choice that brings you life. Have a blessed day ahead. See you next time.